So what if you have one camera source, for example, and this can be with any source whatsoever, but we'll talk about camera right here. And let's say in one scene, you want it to be the typical 16 by nine wide landscape view. But then in another scene, maybe you want it portrait or four by three or something else. Well, the problem you're gonna run into is whenever you apply a filter to this camera, for example, that source, it's gonna be there no matter what scene. So if you switch it to four by three, it's gonna be four by three in all the scenes. So like, well, I only have one object, but I need it to look differently in different scenes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with source mirrors. So we're gonna open up our main scene here. I've got OBS kind of scrunched up here to, uh, because I'm usually on my vertical monitor. So the first thing we want to do, so if I go in this scene and I add my camera source, Elgato face cam is what we're going to use for this. I've got this right here. Here's my big camera my big face and all this stuff. Now the problem with this is if I apply a filter directly to this, like we were talking about, image mask, for example, and let's browse some mask. I've got a four by three, got a four by three mask right here. My problem is, see this, see what happened? So it worked, it applied the mask right here, but now everywhere this camera is, is like that. So we don't want to apply this directly to the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to add a source mirror and it's literally going to mirror your source. So basically copy it. So what we'll do is just for testing here, what do we want this one to look like? Let's say four by three camera, we'll create new. If we do that, what we're going to do is this drop down here. It's going to show all the things you have in OBS. So depending on how much you may have, you may have to scroll for a little bit. We're looking for, for me, it's the Elgato face cam. So you're gonna look for the camera. We're gonna look for whatever your camera name is. So in this case, there it is, add that. So now we have a new object, which is four by four camera. I should have named that four by three. Now for this object, what we wanna do, we wanna right click it, or you can right click the source down here. It doesn't matter where you do this. Go to filters. And you can do this with any kind of effects. It's gonna treat this like it's its own unique object. So whatever changes you're going to want to make any of these, you can do, it'll treat it like its own object. But for the example here, we're going to do an image mask. I'm going to go to browse and do my four by three and boom. And here we go. We're done. So here we go. We created our, so now we have both sources. See, we've got our regular 16 by nine and we've got our source mirror, which is the four by three that we made. And that's how you do it. That's how you create multiple. You can create all these source mirrors and they'll always be as two separate items on here. You can still use your regular base cam or whatever you want. So you can do this, not just with cameras. You can do this with basically any kind of source and add different filters and effects, stuff like that. I think this will help you a whole lot playing with source mirrors. There's the, the sky's the limits what you can do with that. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. You can always catch me live on Twitch pretty much every day. You can hop over there. I'm generally playing a game, but if you have any technical questions, feel free to ask. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks.